Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, as if the news couldn't get bullish enough. Fund manager Guggenheim Global, a multi-billion dollar fund management company, their chief investment officer, Scott Menard, says that Bitcoin is actually worth 400000 and they've been investing for quite a long time. Interesting story. Also, U.S. bank Quantic launches a Bitcoin rewards checking account with debit card. And again, it's another case of the banks coming in because they don't want to get blockbustered. And finally, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. Popular browsers like Google are failing to catch copyright crypto sites, scams make the top results, and what you can do to avoid losing all your crypto. So we'll get all that, but first we have to do two things. First of all, Thanks everybody who has signed up for the D News Cardano staking pool. We've almost hit 9 million ADA delegates. So this is fantastic. I really appreciate it. If you're looking to stake to a stake pool for Cardano, there'll be a link in the description that looks just like this. And it'll take you to our explainer page. Just click on wallets. It'll go all the way down. And then watch the quick 13 minute video to give you the whole scoop. Also, we need to continue on with our 12 days of Christmas. It's been pretty awesome so far. We've had uh, six winners. We've had uh, four for the Stonebook, two for the Legend Nano X. And tonight we will be drawing for the extra wallet. Unfortunately, I could only score one of these wallets because they are so nice. I got one myself. Actually, I got the metal one, not the uh, leather premium quality one, but they're still pretty good. They can store uh, six of my cards. I never lose it because there's this nice little chip in there. So if I have ever lost my wallet, I can just track it on my phone, which if you ever lost your wallet, you know how important that is. And then the third thing is like, uh, it's, it takes care of all the different bulk. So I really like this wallet. So what we're going to do right now, let's draw to see who gets it. So we already talked about this in today's earlier video where I talked about how I had sold some of my Bitcoin. And I got to tell you, every video that I do, or most videos, there's a lot of thumbs up and not that many thumbs down. It's like around a thousand, there's always around a thousand thumbs up, somewhere around there, and like 10 or 11 thumbs down. I always think it's like Jamie Dimon or somebody who's doing that. So like with this video, I'm like, damn, I got a hundred thumbs down. I think it's because people don't like to hear me talk about selling any of my cryptocurrency because I'm always talking about dollar cost averaging, slowly accumulating, and it's been I've been very consistent since I started this channel. And then this is the very first video I've ever done where I said, "Hey, I took profits." And I took profits because I, I talked about it uh, because it is in my exit strategy. I know people say, "Well, this is different," and so on and so forth. Sure, it's different, but uh, the thing is, is that I have a plan of sticking to it. Now, my next price point to sell is at fifty thousand, so I think we've got a ways to go. So let's see who gets it. I'm going to randomly scroll down and bop. Alex O'Sullivan, congratulations. You're going to win a uh, new uh, extra wallet. So that's good. So Alex, just do me a favor. Just go to danteacherscrypto.com and then click on the contact tab right here. Shoot me an email, send me your information, and I'll ship you out that uh awesome wallet. And if you didn't win any of the prizes, not to worry. You can take a look in the description of every one of my videos. You can get back to the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway page by clicking right here. Or if you want to go to the individual product, like the extra wallet, here it is, Nano Ledger, where you can get 20% off, the Stone Book or Shield Folio right here. Uh, or again, you can just click, click right on here for the 12 Days of Christmas. It'll take you right back to this page, and it'll be the same type of thing. You can click on there and go to the recommended page and pick up whatever you want. Like over here, 25% off, 30 percent off not too shabby and there it all is all right so let's break in uh, anything new today yeah i think so uh bitcoin hit 21.5 no big deal just the all-time high and uh that's not too bad so we will take it right so right now it is around 6 p.m uh el paso texas time getting this one done late a lot of things were going on but here we are but yeah i mean pretty good day and you know what's great about today you get to hear from all the people you've uh only heard from very rarely to call you up and go, hey man, what's up with this Bitcoin? Have you heard about Bitcoin? Hey, I know you used to talk about Bitcoin, so what's up with that? Yeah, it's the same thing I told you for years about the same thing, and now you wanna come to me? Well, I'll still help you, because that's just how I am. But yeah, it's just one of those things. So just get ready, because people are gonna start to you know, really crowd you out and be like, hey, uh, how do I get this, how do I get that? So just be gentle, just be nice. Remember, we are ambassadors for this space, so um it finally hopefully they can get it now i don't think that people are really gonna really really come in until it starts to hit 25 and 30 thousand because when people start to hear about the price they're like well what, what's the price Twenty thousand. what was the what was the highest point Twenty thousand? Nah. okay well just went back to original when they start to hear that it's at that all-time high a little bit more plus it was at four thousand dollars in march plus it's uh, all these different price predictions of 100 150 we're gonna go with one that's four hundred thousand 
then they're going to really take notice. That's just my personal opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. But here's what we got for price action. Ethereum, wow, real big jump, uh, almost 11%, 648. XRP, watch out, 26%. That's huge. Whopping 57 cents. That's great. Tether, nobody cares. Litecoin, uh, hey, pretty good, 20% for the week. And it's in that solidly in that number five spot. It's uh, got about 300 million or so of a Bitcoin cash. But uh, let's, you know, really should ask uh, what's down. That's the real question because everything, everything is up. Filecoin, point one. How can you not make it on a day like this? Yeah, everything's up. Good for you. So let's just do a real quick uh, take a look at if we were just invested in Bitcoin, how would we have done against the alts? Well, XRP would have been up 14%. So congratulations, XRP Army. You proved the max he's wrong. Litecoin, 5%, 7% for Stellar. Wow. Uh, eh, dude, not so much so still bitcoin's a pretty safe bet again uh when you start to go lower you can make a lot more uh as far as like uh, gains uh, the farther down you go but just a little bit more risky and that's up to you that's why i diversified uh, my portfolio i mean most of it's bitcoin ethereum but i got a lot of the other ones that's just uh that's just me all right let's jump into today's top story because i found this one fascinating on a couple of levels so first up, this is Scott Minard, or Minard, I don't know how to say his name. Seems like a nice guy, but uh, things he says, I'm like, you sons of guns. I knew it. So first of all, uh, who is Guggenheim? Well, Guggenheim, Global Asset Management Investment Advisory, division of Guggenheim Partners, and is more than $233 billion in total assets across income, equity, and alternative strategies. They focus on uh, insurance companies, corporate and public pension funds, Remember that word, pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, endowments and foundations, wealth managers and high net worth investors and blah, blah, blah. So great. They got a lot of money. Good for them. So what is interesting about this one is the, the first 15 seconds. Listen to this. Just listen to this. Uh, of course, uh, we made the decision to start allocating toward Bitcoin uh, when Bitcoin was at 10,000. Look at that. We were allocating when Bitcoin was 10,000. For every micro strategy that is out there that is public about it, I think there's like 20 companies in the shadows under the secrecy of darkness who is actually accumulating Bitcoin right now. And uh, that's what Scott's really saying. Hey, we were already doing it and uh, we're not telling everybody though. And here they are. But the next part is not only did it blow my mind, but listen to the announcer or the, the interviewer. She's like, huh? Um, it's, it's a little more challenging uh, with the current price closer to 20000 uh, amazing, you know, over a very short period of time, how big of a run-up we've had. Um, but having said that, uh, our our fundamental work shows that Bitcoin uh, should be worth about four hundred thousand dollars. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa is right. And first of all, all that paper shuffling and heavy breathing—that's not me. That's the uh, the interviewer, some guy that you'll see in a bit. But uh, I can't help that; it's just the volume. Anyhow, this statement is so crazy, they have to like put things on hold. Take a listen. We had uh, the ability to do so today. We're going to monitor the market and uh, uh, see how trading goes uh, on right. valuation, but ultimately yeah. we want to buy it. Scott Miner, we want to delay the Fed press conference for this comment by you. How do you frame a 400,000 uh, Bitcoin? How do you get from where we are now out to 400,000? Is it just based on scarcity? Uh, yeah, right, Tom. It's uh, based on the scarcity and relative valuation, such as things like gold, uh, as a percentage of uh, GDP. So, you know, there, it, Bitcoin is actually uh, has a lot of the attributes of gold um, and at the same time has an unusual yeah. uh, value in terms of transactions. Right. Mike McKee emails me, why are we talking about BitDog while we've got a Fed press conference going on? McKee, jump jump in here and save this Fed You, you know we're going to get emails, Tom, <laughs> from people about Bitcoin. So that was great. They uh, totally sidestepped uh, the whole Fed press conference because they're like, this is way more interesting. And it is because what's the Fed going to tell you? Hey, guess what? We printed some more money. Wow, shocker. Nobody cares. That's eh, just how it is. You know, that reminds me, when he talks about gold and attributes of gold, this reminds me of when Van Eck put out their investment case for Bitcoin. This was January. And people thought it was a little bit strange because Van Eck is a, is a pretty big gold bug company. They were heavy into gold for quite some time. But they pretty much just laid it out and said, you know what? Uh, gold 
is uh, inferior to Bitcoin. And they just pretty much laid it out exactly why it is. And they gave this to all their investors. So when Scott here from Guggenheim says, you know what, it's not, uh, it's just like gold. And it's just, it has some, some superior qualities. It only makes sense. And the people that really should be worried are the people that are like heavily, heavily, heavily into gold. Like if you don't diversify, and you don't have some exposure to Bitcoin, that's the risky part. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on. Next up, this was interesting because I'm like, man, banks are really going hard into crypto. US bank Quantic launches Bitcoin rewards checking account with debit card. First, I was like, I've never heard of Quantic. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they are. So I had to take a look. Quantic, uh, US based, it's in Manhattan, New York. Uh, they got uh, additional locations in Astoria, New York, Melville, New York, Flushing. Miami and Florida. They're not very big. I mean, they were only around since, uh, what, 12, 11 years or so. Only have 220 employees. But it is something to be said that a branch bank is coming about and going, you know what? We're going to give you rewards in Bitcoin to attract new customers. I like these types of, of industries or, or type of companies that are forward thinking. This is a bank that isn't too big. They're not, you know, pushed down by layers and layers of management and they can be nimble and they can make uh, changes on the fly. And that, I think, is why they've done something like this. You're not going to see uh, a JP Morgan and a Wells Fargo roll this out because there are so many layers of legality and different people to go through. It'd be very tough, but a smaller bank, I think, could do this. And this is uh, uh, proof positive. So here is exactly what's going on. The announcement states Quantic is the first FDIC insured financial institution in the U.S., to go live with a Bitcoin rewards debit card, Quantic customers can earn 1.5% in Bitcoin on eligible debit card purchases. When I saw this, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I would bank there. I would definitely bank there because why not? The bank has partnered. This is how they did it. They, they partnered with NYDIG, uh, a company that helped uh, Mass Mutual get $100 million uh, worth of Bitcoin to custody it. They're going to provide Quantic with a secure custody platform to manage the rewards because again these institutions they can't hold themselves they have to have somebody custody it for them and that's where the middleman makes all the money and why dig good for them there's a little catch though uh the balances of the rewards in the customers and why dig accounts are not subject to fdic or sipc protection so Apparently, if it gets hacked, I guess you're, you're SOL, I suppose. I don't know how that works. NY Dig, I would assume, would have some kind of insurance, but I have no idea. Uh, Bitcoin is gaining massive momentum, both as a digital currency and asset class and as a store of wealth. Quantic CEO Stephen Schnall commented, and he states this. This is of particular importance today, given that the federal government printed an additional $3 trillion in money in 2020, in response to COVID-19 and the accompanying risk of inflation and dollar devaluation. I found this very interesting that the CEO of a bank would say, you know what, uh, this these darn Fed Reserve, they're printing way too much money. <laughs> to me, I was like, what the heck is going on? Up is down, black is white, it's crazy. But uh, hey, here we are. In addition, Quantic has partnered with uh, New York Stock Exchange listed Fidelity National Information Services to build a mobile app with Bitcoin rewards tracking, reporting, and functionality, we decided to launch in Q2 of 2021. Again, I cannot stress this enough. This is probably going to be, no, I'm sorry, I, I messed that up. This is the biggest year. 2021 is going to be the biggest year in cryptocurrency digital assets. If you followed along with me on the channel, thanks, appreciate it. Uh, I've always said the same thing. Dollar cost average, uh, you make all the money when it's boring. When there is dips and when everything is moving sideways, you just trudge along, you do your job, you bring your little lunchbox to work and you do your thing. And that thing is just to pick up cryptocurrency digital assets along the way. Now we get to reap the rewards of everything that we've done in all these years. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our last piece. Last up, this is like a PSA because I hate scammers. Uh, popular browsers like Google fail to catch copyright or copycat crypto site scams and blah, blah, blah. This is a problem. This is a problem in my, even in, in the um, comment section, you're going to see a bunch of people like that have my same logo and they're going to say, hey, contact me on, on Instagram for, I don't have Instagram. I'm old. I don't have that stuff. And, uh, and they're going to tell you to you know, use this number and call me. It's just stupid. And I always put the little disclaimer at the very top. It looks something like this. Let me pull this up. Scam alert. I don't recommend any investors or IG Instagram personalities and da da da. It's all a scam because it's dumb. And, but people will fall for it because they just don't know. So I have to put it in there every single freaking time. It sucks. But what would suck even more is if people lose their money on my watch. And I will not allow that to happen. 
So there's that. There's also one that really ticks me off is that uh, there's somebody who they they have an email of digital asset new without the S at gmail.com. And they'll email you and they'll say, hey, I got a great promotion. You should check out my trading program, which is just dumb because I don't even do any of that. And people will, will email me like, hey, uh, did you send this to me? I'm like, no, no, no. So just be on the lookout for that. But this is something that we can, this article, this is something we can easily spot out and super simple. So they give an example of, there's a website called Strong U Tech, and the real web page is really called strongu.com.cn. So this one right here, if I'm scrolling through uh, Google, and I see this at the very top of Google, because this is number one, right? This is number two. And I'm looking for Strong U. And it says Strong U Tech. I might click on it, because I don't know what the heck it is. Apparently, it's a mining operation. But, I mean, you see how close this is. And not only that, but it's like on the second spot. So... Whoever these scammers are, they're pretty good at SEO. They're pretty good at gaming the system and being on the front or top page of Google, which is, you know, not super hard to do, but it is a little bit difficult if you don't know. So that's a problem. And that's why I'm always harping on everybody that if you want to go to uh, one of these exchanges or wallets, just look in the description of my, every one of my videos. There's a link. It looks just like this. It'll take you to the exchange and wallets fees. And I have all the links right there. Now you can sign up or use the affiliate links or not. It doesn't matter. You can click on whatever else. But these are the links to the official uh, exchanges and wallets. They're all right there for you. So um, when I get to this little piece right here, did you know that six years ago, uh, Coinbase was spoofed? There was a there's a web page called Coinbase.re. And this is what I'm concerned about coming in 2021. The scammers are going to be out heavy because they want to make money. And they're going to make a lot of money. So you're going to see stuff like this. People are going to go there. They're going to sign up. They're going to put their debit card in. And they're going to link their bank. And they're going to lose thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's, it's inevitable. So that's why I need you to be smart. And I need you to be the voice of reason. So when people talk to you like, hey, what's up with Bitcoin? You... Don't shut them away and be like, I told you, fool, for three years. You just try to be nice to them like, hey, let me help you. Let me show you. Uh, this is a pretty difficult world if you if you don't know. These are the right places. This is what you need to do. I don't want you to get uh, scammed. That's all I ask. So like the history here was this Coinbase customer, uh, they logged in because they thought it was the right site. They used their credentials and they, of course... <laughs> took all their money, which sucks. And then, and also you got stuff like this, just like we have ads in YouTube, the scammers will actually post ads through Google AdWords and they'll be at the very top. So like, look at this one. This is Ian, Ian Coleman.com. I don't know what that is. And then this one is, it's M-E-N and then M-A-N. And one is a scam, which is the one at the very top, which is the ad. And this is the real one. So like, again, if you're not, if you're not initiated, you'd be like, whatever. And I just go that way. And then we know all about the rest of them, right? So again, Treat everything like a scam. Even if you get something from me, everything's a scam until proven otherwise, and then you'd be okay. If you get stuff like this, go to the official website, send them an email like, hey, is this right? Because I just got this email that said that I need to you know, give some personal information for my ledger or personal information for Binance to reset some da-da-da. Just go do that. And usually it only takes 24 hours at most, and you should be okay. And uh, that's it. So anyhow, thanks for hanging with me for the whole whole show. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. I'm not sure. I'll let uh, YouTube do their magic there. And uh, just check those other videos out if you got time. So again, thanks. I uh, appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Bum, bum, bum.